Good morning, uh, all the delegates here. Uh, I would like to say thank you to HMA and the good coordination. I'm honored to be here today, and thank you for my COO, Kun Kamon Sak Rung Zeron Rung, to give me the opportunity to be the presenter here. Today, I would like to talk about how cost cutting in healthcare system impacts the hospital services without compromising the quality care. Next slide, please. Okay, these are my presentation outline. I will start with the challenge in the healthcare and then followed by the why we will do cost cutting or better word should be said uh, cost management and uh, show you the ways to do cost cutting and cost management without compromising quality of care. And then show you about case studies in the real case study at Bangkok Hospital Phuket, Thailand. And uh, this case study, I would like you to uh, leave the home with this message and then answer any question. Okay, about the challenge in healthcare, nowadays we know that the most challenging one is the value-based healthcare. The value of the healthcare equation, it comes from uh, the good clinical outcome divided by the cost delivery to that outcome. So if the value in healthcare, it should be increased if the outcome that we deliver to the patient is high when compared with the less cost. And the other challenge is the policy changing. The government will uh, give up the new policies every year, such as in Thailand, the USAID policy we call the universal coverage for emergency patient. That emergency patient can go to every hospital in Thailand without payment, even though uh, they can go to the private hospital. So this new policy, as we are the hospital executive, we need to adjust ourselves to cope with the policy change. Also, the rising of pharmacy costs every day, so we need to adjust them. And the other challenge is the big data, how we use the big data effectively. IT disruption, cyber security, and big data accumulation. And the last challenge is to the process of invoicing and payment processing. We should do the effective payment model. And why we do the cost cutting, or better word, is the cost management. Yes, to overcome the challenge, you can see these challenge that are very challenging now. To overcome the challenge, we need to do the improving of the patient experience, patient quality of care, and reducing the cost. I mean that we should do the value-based healthcare, improve quality of care, and improve patient experience can cause us to have cost saving or we can do directly cost saving itself. So as we are healthcare executive, we need to communicate this target to our staff member that we need to improve the value of, of the care to the patient. Many ways to do cost cutting, so I will show you later how the ways to do cost cutting. Yes, such as the drug cost. Uh, now the pharmacy cost is increasing. We have six initiatives to do the drug cost containment program. The first one is to maximizing using the generic. 
by prudent and careful formulary management. Second one, increase the use of biosimilar in the specialty drug area that uh, have the equivalent uh, component to the uh, biology drug. The first one is to carefully negotiate drug rebate with pharmaceutical manufacturer. The fourth one is to negotiate network pharmacy price. The fifth one, we should carefully select the specialty drug. Don't base decision depending on the price only. Instead, we choose the drug based on safety and efficacy first to maximize value. Employ frequent clinical monitoring to ensure efficacy and adherence. The sixth one, we should offer clinical program such as reminding patients to get medication refills for our chronic condition in order to avoid hospitalization. Dr. Lalita, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna give you one minute to wrap up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and the other two major ways to do cost cutting is, is the efficiency management or improvement, such as improved daily management system, improve OPD examination room utilization, improve resource management focusing on FTE and nursing management system. We do the digi digital hospital. We use IT leverage such as patient portal and CIM software. Improve training efficacy such as learning management system, simulation training. We collaborate with the partners such as preferred provider organization project. And the other uh, significant way to do the cost cutting is very important for the hospital, I think, is the outcome improvement. We also do the COE framework. COE, it means the Center of Excellence framework. Follow the CPD or clinical practice guideline for improve our clinical outcome. So in a very short period to uh, wrap up, I would proceed to the last slide. Okay, this is example of OPD examination room utilization to predict and forecast the doctor uh, number and OPD room we need to construct or not. FTE uh, management and nursing management system. We use FTE dashboard and we can improve the FTE performance uh, comparing the year 2019 with 2018. We much improvement FTE and performance. About nursing management system, uh, we use the application on mobile that the nurse can help uh, themselves to create the job, uh, request for the job or ship the job, and the HOD can overview that and manage the schedule of nurse. And digital privilege, IT can help us a lot, such as patient portal. In the pre-hospital, we use the omnicare channel. Uh, the patient can have their help advice from the chatbot. We can also recommend the hospital service and the patient can also register by themselves. And during in hospital, we also use the uh, patient portal to improve uh, the patient satisfaction. The patient can receive instant health report. And post-hospital, we can use the application to do the health assistance, such as blood pressure measurement, sugar measurement, remind for medication usage, and remind for an appointment of the hospital. And health checkup, when we uh, check up the program, the patient can have their personal health record. So the patient can have satisfaction increasing to around 92.8%. And uh, because of the electronic health checkup report, and the patient can access 
uh, help report history by themselves. Uh, Dr. Lalita, can this be the last slide? Because we're really pushing for time. I'm really sorry to interrupt, but uh, we have to move on. Yes, so we can save the cost of the manpower and the days of waiting for the report. Okay, so uh, for in con conclusion about efficiency, I think efficiency uh, can make us to have cost saving a lot. And the thing that uh, I should uh, say in the last sentence, we should do the good clinical outcome to our patient. If the patient have good clinical outcome, we can increase the patient volume, and then we ha can have a cost saving after we can do the good clinical outcome to the patient. Okay, this is the case study of the Daily Management System. We can do every day in the, our hospital. This is increase the value not only to our staff, but also increase value to our patient. Okay. And about COE network or center of excellence, we do the clinical outcome and can we show, and we can show the clinical outcome by the website. Okay, so uh, I think if you have some question, please email me at lalita.ko at bth.co.th to your question. Thank you very much.